Hello everyone, my name is Riddhi Chatterjee and I am doing this project for ID Professional School as a part of my curriculum for Power BI module. So I am doing this research project titled West Bengal Export Statistics for the financial year 21-22. Let me take you to some basic data insight. So I have collected this data from DBCIA and S. What is it? Let me show you. This is Director General of Commercial Intelligence and Statistics. If you go to this data, data dissemination portal, it takes you here where you need to put your credentials and you can access to the data. This is very authentic, so no problem with the data. Next we have data for financial year 21-22. The data is called cross-sectional when we have various entries for a single period of time which is here is financial year 21-22. We have data of 23 districts. As you know, West Bengal has 23 districts. We have also data for 196 countries. That means West Bengal and all of its districts have made export with this 196 country during the period of financial year 21-22. We call a financial year from April 1st to the next year March 31st. Then we have data for principal commodity wise. We have another option to choose HS code as well. Why I chose this principal commodity, we'll discuss it later on. So we have 164 such principal commodities in which we worked on this data. So let me take you to Power BI and show you how does it look. So if I have a blank page here, this is the common page as you see. Here you can see I have fields here. I have imported this data project 1 and all the column names are here. I have used some measures to have better working with the data. So here I have total export value where I have used sum of export value. So all the row summation is given by this. So it is useful while doing further calculations using that. We can also create calculated columns using this. But here this measure seems very useful for me. So we have another panel here called visualization where we can choose what visualization to stay. Here it is clustered column chart. This is a pie chart. This is a donut chart. This is a card this is map view and etc. Lot of options are also there from get more visuals but for that you need to sign into Power BI first. And what does filters do? I'll tell you in a bit while. So let me take you back. This is the report part or the dashboard part where we work on and then we have the table view where the data wise view we can see what are the entries here. And this is the model view. Here we have only one table but if we would have many tables then a relationship would be shown here like ER diagram would be shown here. So let me remove this page as it is no longer required. I just created it to show you guys how does a blank page look like. Then let me take you to the quick insights part. Here you can see we have 23 districts, 196 countries. So how did I get this? So I have used a card from this visualization, this one. Then I have used country, dropped country field here. And as soon as I drop, it generally takes the first entry, but I have uh, changed it to count district. Let me do it for you once again. Let me remove this one. I'll select country. It shows first country. Alphabetic wise, first country it shows. But we don't need that. We need the distinct count. So if I choose this distinct count, I get this 196 countries where West Bengal had export relations during financial year 21-22. Similarly, I've got this principal commodity that is number of commodities exported during this time period. 
and I have total export value as I've shown you I have used this measure to have a look at this 14 billion USD value was exported from West Bengal to all over the world during financial year 21-22. Next we have the top 5 districts and bottom 5 districts in terms of export value. So these top 5 districts are Kolkata which is the capital of West Bengal, then comes Howrah which is very adjacent to Kolkata, then Postim Bordhavan, then two of the Medhipur's east and west. The bottom ones are Dinajpur, Dokkim, Dokkim, Dinajpur, Kujbihar, Nodia, Jhargram and Kalimpong. So these are further away from the port area that might be a reason that these districts have lower export value. Next we have country wise insight. So again back to this Power BI. Let me hide these parts. This is a better view. So here you can see I have created a button of info where if I ho hover around I can see that if I control click it will take me to somewhere. Let's see where it goes. So it goes to a country space. That is I have created a page navigation around this to, to have a better understanding. So for filters now I will show you how I got this top 5 countries. If you look here in the filters part I have chosen this country then top end then top and 5. Similarly for bottom 5 I can just do this top to bottom and the values would change. So I have done this calculation by value of total export, export value and applied filter on this. So filters are available for a particular visual like on this visual as you can see here only applies to this part. Then we have filters for this particular page. All the entries in the page would be filtered based on that if I do the, uh, if I drop the fields here or we can have, sorry here and then we can have filters on all pages that is all pages on this uh, document would have this filtered on. But I have chosen for this one separately because as you can see here I want top 5 and here I want bottom 5. Similarly this bottom 5 entries has been plotted in this map chart. Why is it useful? Like I was not sure that why these countries have less export value. So while looking at the map as I can see these are distant islands and you can say isolated ones. That may be a reason why export values from West, exports from West Bengal are less for these countries. So I have also created a button of back here which will again take me back to the page where I started from. So country wise the top 5 countries first comes Bangladesh. It is a neighboring country to West Bengal so obviously it has the highest export value. Then comes Nepal which is also a neighboring country. Then China which is also a neighboring country, then UAE, a bit far but most of the trade happens with West Bengal and then obviously USA because it is one of the developed countries and it imports a lot from India vis-a-vis -vis West Bengal vis-a-vis -vis all the districts of West Bengal. Then I have top bottom 5 countries that I have shown you, these are isolated countries that might be the reason why West Bengal has lower export value with these. Then we have principal commodity wise inside. So again you can see I have created a button here where I can control click and it takes me to the commodity uh, field. So here also I have top 5 and bottom 5 commodities and I can just go back to the previous page by control click and it takes me back to the first page. So let me show you what are the commodities we are looking at. But before that let me tell you what is the principal commodity and why do we use that. So principal commodity means the items grouped with the same kinds or same types of several commodities which are 9 digits and it is useful for publication in the trade statistic in order to grasp the outline of the trade. That is it gives a better understanding. So we could have always chosen HS code that is our harmonized tariff system code. That is more detailed one. We can have the data from 2 digit to 8 digit. Now for example the 2 digit one gives us only T. Where the 8 digit one would give you the type of tree 
whether is it, it is a green tea or a uh, assam tea or wh which category has the texture wh whether it is shredded or hand mixed every data you can have in the eight digit level so for further analysis we could always use the hs code but as of now for better understanding of the data principal commodities are good to start with then i have top five commodities here so first one is iron and steel second one is gold and other precious metal jewelry then products of iron and steel so iron and steel comes twice here and then rice other than basmati rice and then i have marine products so one problem with working with the principal commodities is that in the marine products by this name i am unable to understand what it signifies it could be shipping material shipping equipments or it can also be aqua related products which are exported like shrimp crustaceans etc so this is the ambiguity that this principal commodity creates sometimes so you need to be very careful while using this data next we have bottom five commodities here you can see natural rubber gold other meat silk carpet and wool rock these are available one thing is to notice that gold is coming under bottom five commodities whereas gold and other precious metal jewelry comes under top five commodities why is it so we'll explain it in the conclusions part let me move ahead so now i have a big decomposition tree made in power bi which is another powerful tool which helps us better understand how the data looks like in a glimpse let me show you so in the decomposition tree as you can see let me select this visual first and it gives tells you that i have analyzed the data based on export value which i want to understand how the export value increases or decreases and explain by i wanted district first since it is an analysis of the state so i first look at want to look at the district wise data which are the districts which are mostly responsible for this export value so again kolkata is on top which we also found before and then we have countries which are responsible and then principal commodity wise description we could always use principal codes here but that would not be very insightful as the code what does it signify that we would understand that is why i have kept principal commodity description so we can change this data also if we want to look at some other district wise data then we can move around and see which are the countries responsible for this uh, district export value and then again if i can choose us i want to see for particular district of howrah for particular country of usa what are the principal commodities which are responsible to get this value so i can see that correctly from here these are the principal commodities for the export value of this from howrah to usa so as you can see in a glimpse you can see the uh, detailed insights of the data and since it is interactive the user can choose whatever he wants to see so this may brings me to conclusion of this analysis so first of all the central government initiated of district as export hub gives more emphasis to the grassroots level that is on districts which are responsible for strengthening the indian economy by forex earning hence i have performed this analysis since it is a recent initiative so the state government should supremely focus on iron and steel sector and further boost exports from this sector because as we have seen iron and steel individually and the products of iron and steel both together are a part of the top 5 commodities so it is very important for west bengal vis a vis all the districts of west bengal for all the products international best practices could be adapted to perform better in the competitive market so there are uh, barriers to trade sometimes it is a tariff barrier sometimes it is non tariff barrier so in order to overcome those internal best practices should be followed in every sector to have better hold in the international market next we have 
As I have told you earlier, that gold and other precious metals comes from the top five products, and again bottom five products we see gold. What is the problem here? We can say that gold does not have that much of value addition which it was required to do. So hence, more emphasis should be given on finished gold products that could be jewelry or something else, but mostly jewelry are exported, and then it would should have more value addition to it so that the gold gets removed from the bottom. Five and then adds more value to the top five ones. Next, we have overall districts with lower performances should be provided with hand handling support and adequate trainings to be made available for the manufacturers or product producers to make their products more marketable. So it is easier to say that international practices should be followed, but these manufacturers or producers might not be aware of the same. So the government should take in initiative in providing this training. Next, the district level data is only available from the financial year 21-22. Hence, it uh, gives us a very narrow scope to better understand the data. So more data is always better to have better in insight. So in that case, we will be able to have uh, identified the potential market for district specific export products. So this brings me to the end of my presentation and uh, thank you for your time. Thank you so much for viewing this.